Hello party people. I'm at Trader Joe's right now. I haven't been here in forever, Sandlot style. I literally can't remember. I don't see any holiday stuff outside. Normally they have some, so I don't know if I'm too early for the Christmas kind of stuff, holiday stuff. I hope they have Jingle Jangle. That's one of the main reasons I came. I remember getting it, I think last year, thinking, what's the big deal about this stuff? And then eating like two entire bins of it and thinking, oh, I need more. So I hope they have some inside. I don't know, is there a line? I think so. So I'm gonna wait in the line, wait my turn. I'm also gonna show you guys around. We're gonna do it a little shop with me at Trader Joe's and then I'll show you the grocery haul and also maybe food prep. I don't know, we'll see what the day brings. I did it on my list today. I did meal plan, kind of. I don't know, We're, let's go inside, okay? Well, there was a line, bad news, no grump tree, but I do see some beautiful sunflowers. Also, their carousel of cards, which I always love. They're a dollar, you guys. Less than that, they're 99. They normally have Christmas ones. I don't see any here, but I do see this bear, and he's pretty funny. Well, this is definitely giving me Thanksgiving vibes, but I was kind of hoping for Christmas vibes, not gonna lie. They have some gluten-free stuffing, $6. I feel like everything gluten-free is expensive, so I don't know if that's on par. They also have some gravy in a box and then cornbread stuffing mix for four bucks. Their vegetables always look fantastic. I'm gonna grab some. Can I tell you, it is, ugh, what day is today? Tuesday afternoon and this place is a madhouse. So, I found these. Sugar plum sparkling beverage. That seems really fun. Cranberry ginger beverage, nice. Oh, and it's sparkling too. I found these scalloped crackers. Cheese biscuit duos. Oh, what's on here? Maple espresso. This is like a highlighted area, so I figure these are products to be highlighted. All right, this is telling me to eat. I've never had this truffle dip before. Let me know if you've had it. Naturally flavored, a creamy truffle infused dip. The blend of cream cheese, ricotta cheese, and parm cheese. They also have these really fun advent calendars. They seem to be just a dollar. This one is catching my eye. Advent calendar for cats. Is it for cats or cat lovers? Salmon, dried seaweed, and cat treats. Oh, that is so fun. Oh my gosh, okay, this is $6. That makes more sense. I'm not sure how much those are. So they should be a dollar. It's 24 days of chocolate. And I'm pretty much on board for that. You know what I don't see? Their pre-made sushi, which is kind of disappointing because that's one of the things that I used to love about coming here. But I do find this vegan mac. Interesting. Ooh, vegan ranch dip. That's fun too. Lots of tofu protein patties over there. Ooh, impossible meat. That's pretty cool. Oh, maybe I'm in like the vegan section. Maybe that's why I can't find the sushi. Okay, I think this is like the holiday section. I'm just gonna scan over it really quickly. Chicken pot pie, is that holiday? Roasted rosemary boneless chicken breast. How much is this crap? $7 for that, amazing. Italian style meatloaf. These are all like pre-made meals. Chicken marsala with mashed potatoes. Meat lasagna, traditional meatloaf, chicken breast. Ooh, ooh okay, mashed sweet potatoes with pecans. Oh, yes please. Oh, this is fun too. A charcuterie pinwheels, interesting. Rolled uncured pepperoni and mozzarella cheese. Ooh, and then they have my favorite antipasto assortment. Kind of like a tapas over here, and this is $11. I'm in the nut and dried food section, and I found this watermelon jerky. I think it's left over from summer. Has anyone tried this? I feel like I have to buy it just to see. It's only $3, all right. Experimenting. Trader Joe's nut section is always such an amazing deal. The amount of nuts you get for the price is unreal, especially if you don't have a Costco membership, which is where I normally get my nuts. This is a great place uh, to get them. They also have a lot of nut mixes here as well, and I see this one. Trader Joe's is known for their everything but the bagel seasoning. 
and it looks like they're capitalizing on that and I am here for it. I know I haven't been here for a while. This is new to me. These granola bites seem to be flying off the shelf. It's definitely something my kids uh, used to enjoy when I would buy them and then they have some mixed berry kind give you a little variety. Oh my gosh, right next to me. We'll wait for it. The treats. Oh, Julia Child is smiling. They sell a French apple tart for just $8. Oh my gosh, I'm drooling. Chocolate pecan pie bar. Can you even see it in all its glory for $7? No effort involved and you could be enjoying that in the car, on the way home, and then they have these beautiful gingerbread sandwich cookies for five bucks. This is always a fan favorite. These Danish Kringles. I've never had one, but I hear great things. $8, I just feel like is a little too steep for me. So they have some pumpkin bread for $5. What is this? Brownie petites? No, those aren't brownie petites. Those are banana bread. Where are the brownie petites? Because I tell you, I would like some. I don't see any. I see chocolate cookies. A brownie cookie? Brooke? Ooh, there they are. There's one right in the back there. Oh, a brownie cookie. I used to make those in high school, okay? I didn't know I was 20 years ahead of my time. <laughs> 20 years, how old am I? I don't know. Chocolate Brooklyn Babka. Great, wonderful. Sounds delicious, looks delicious. Uh, they have some cinnamon coffee cake. Just a bunch of treats, you guys. Pull me away from this area, okay? As if I need more. Pancake bread? I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, and then a wall of carbs. Oh, help me. All of these fresh carbs are really making me want to buy all of them. But what I wanted to mention, uh, they have brioche buns, but they also have, oh, okay, a brioche loaf up there. Do you see it? I know we're at Trader Joe's, but I saw a brioche loaf at Costco the other day, bought it, haven't eaten it yet. So review to come. Do you follow Trader Joe's on Instagram? Do you follow me on Instagram? <laughs> Apparently these are all of the products that they're highlighting this week. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Trader Joe's has a podcast. What? Is Joe the host? I'm sad. This big empty space is normally where the jingle jangle is, where all of the holiday assortments are. I wonder if it's coming. I'm gonna have to ask. Oh no way, here's something fun. Nog protein beverage smoothie. Interesting. They also have this cold brew. I know a lot of people are into that. Kombucha and all that kind of stuff. Uh, not for me. Look at this, you guys. As if overnight oats were easy enough, they have made them for you. Amazing. Vanilla flavored. Oh, look at this. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh my gosh, I've got a problem. And then they have all of the nogs. Almond nog, eggnog, light eggnog. But the best of all, they have coconut whipped cream if you're dairy free. And it's a decent price, $3.29, well done. Okay, here is a nice little section over here. Cauliflower tot casserole for $6. Well, isn't that the bee's knees? So many snacks that I haven't seen in a long time. These dark chocolate Pringle breads <laughs> and this um, peanut butter and jelly. Interesting, very interesting. This is what I wanted to highlight. Those cookies are like their uh, famous spread. It's like a Biscoff cookie crepe wafers. Oh my gosh, honey graham crackers. Someone's waiting. An absolute classic. I'm finding some gems in this frozen section that they, they like, you know, this is where they put all of the special items they want to highlight. Look at this. I'm also freezing, by the way. Bring a sweater. This cranberry sauce filled their phyllo bites. That looks really interesting. $4 for those. Tempura shrimp, pimento cheese puffs up there mini quiche up there, French onion soup bites. So interesting. What is this? A vegetable bird's nest. Uh, again, interesting. Have you had them? Vegetable pouches? All right, I think I would try. Ooh, scallops wrapped in bacon? <laughs> I would definitely try those. All right, what's down here? Ooh, turkey and stuffing. Very cool. Oh my gosh, breaded turkey list. Stuff it, stuffed roast with gravy. Well, oh, they also have a whole Cornish game hen. These seem to be doing very well. This is the last package. Pastry bites with feta cheese and caramelized onion. They look delicious. Also, my arch nemesis, cheese and bread together. And it's probably fried. Ooh, tapioca flour, is that making it healthy? No. Ooh, look what I spy. Okay, a holiday favorite, the Penitone. Penitone. And they have a gluten-free version. 
Would you look at that? I'll take the big one though, okay? Just for me, personal size. Okay, look at this, a beef shepherd's pie for just $5. That is new to me. Okay, wait, now I'm starting to think, wait, did they put the holiday stuff out and I'm just so late, I missed it all? <gasps> I better find some jingle friggin' jangles all I'm saying. It's not even December, okay, so they have this marzipan stolen, that's, oh my gosh, so delicious, but they've got the stroops, you guys. You guys know I'm obsessed because I have a stroop waffle bag and now everyone around me is looking at me like I'm a weirdo, nothing new, move along. Mini gingerbread people. Okay, hold on, no longer are they just men. Do you get what I'm saying? $3.49 for that box. Oh my word, listen, my song is playing. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. Wait for it. I don't know if you can hear it. It's Vogue by Madonna. Uh, yes, come on, Vogue. Yes, okay, every time I post how I make my thumbnails, I post it on Instagram and play this song. Dark chocolate, no one cares about the caramels. I just don't know what I'm saying. Ooh, people care about that. Look at that box too. I love their boxes and packaging. Those are $5. Chocolate liqueur, cherries, $6. These are great gifts, you guys. These make for fantastic gifts. Everyone loves a good treat. Taste test of caramels for six bucks. Dark chocolate orange for three. <gasps> Festive chocolate collection, $4 for those gems. I mean, look how stinking cute those are. Okay, moving on, this. Look, it's already wrapped and everything for you. Dark chocolate collection for $7. Coco truffles, $3, what a steal. Belgian truffles for $3.49. Ooh, this is beautiful. It looks very regal, it is $8. And here's a treat for all your boozy friends, an assortment of boozy little chocolate truffles. Ooh, now I'm right under a speaker, you could definitely hear it. Ooh, jam time. $10 for that large box of chocolates. Hold on, bumper cars over here. Look at this, they have a pumpkin pie and the packaging on point. How much is it? There are so many price tags up here. Okay, $6, I see it. Nice, nice, nice. I dream of chocolate cake. Well, so do I. <laughs> oh my, What do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Mini cheesecake cones? Almond Florentine cones filled with a creamy cheesecake filling. Oh, that'll knock my socks off. They have so many more treats. They got macaroons. Oh my gosh, a ton of ice cream as well. Oh, organic sweetened condensed milk. Oh, you guys. Cranberry pie, Nantucket style? Well, where is that? Oh, nah, I thought she would have it. She does not have it. Knuffy? Knuffy. Knuffy? <laughs> I can say it's the same way three times with different inflections. It's still wrong. Puff pastry, sweet bites. Okay, that's great. Kim, put your blinders on. You do not need any more sugar. Ooh, or do I? Brownie crisp and coffee? Oh, I love the flavor of coffee, but I don't drink it, you know what I mean? Okay, and then they have all of these ice creams. Anything? I see a lot of non-dairy ice creams, which is nice to see. Oh my word, okay, I had to wait for the aisle to clear out. Look at these guys, English toffee. Just the packaging alone, it looks so nice. You could just give that straight as a gift, $10 though. You better like the person a lot. Peppermint bark, another fantastic gift. And the tin, you can keep it forever, 10 bucks. Oh, these are another great holiday staple, Scandinavian tidings. My kids are gonna love these. Well, mostly I like them. There's Christmas trees and stars and just, you know, festive stuff. Over here we have dark chocolate stars for $4. Danish butter cookies. Keep the tin for the rest of your stinking life. $3 for that. Dark chocolate covered peppermint JoJo's. This is always a great gift. Wait, they're not, they're a decent price. I wanna say they're, you know, two or three dollars, which is great if you're getting a bunch of teacher gifts or something. I gave it to teachers last year. $3.99 for dark chocolate covered JoJo's. And then, <gasps> Gluten-free candy cane JoJo's? I'm not even gluten-free and that excites me. Mini peppermint meringues. I don't see those anymore, but I do see mini cranberry pistachio biscotti, salted honey toffee, and then an assortment of bleh. Oh my goodness, back to the food. Philly cheesesteak buns? Oh, stop. Look what else I see in the corner of my stinking eye. Everything is stinking today. Bibimbap bowl, the bibimbap. You guys know how much I love this dish. Oh, I'm so tempted to buy it. How much art thou? 
I do not know. I will find out and report back. That's a lie. I don't see it. Is it worth it? <laughs> they have some chocolate covered pretzel twists for $6.99 and then a chocolate passport. Oh yes. Do I have to get my picture taken for this passport? Look how many you get in there for $10 and all right, hold on, let's check this out. Where are we going? We're going to Trader Joe's. The chocolate passport. Ooh, okay, where are we going? Peru, Ecuador, Venezuela, Ghana. Amazing places, all for the low, low price of $10. It's incredible. Okay, peppermint pretzel slims, $3. That's a good price. Mini Mallows, three. It's been so long, Trader Joe's came out with an everything but brand and I had no idea. Apparently, I don't follow them that closely on Instagram. What? Have you tried this? Is it amazing? $2.49. Should I try it and report back? They have these decorate your own holiday ornaments, but they're cookies? Okay, good. They're cookies. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. $7 for the best ornament. Yes. One potato, two potato, three potato. This is $4. It looks amazing. I might buy it. It doesn't look very large or have, it's 18 ounces of creamy cheesy gratins ooh sweet potatoes potatoes ooh and mushrooms okay that's a turn off scallopini potatoes those look fantastic for four dollars broccoli and cauliflower for four and then they have this hasselback potatoes oh doesn't that look fancy okay two appetizer style potatoes for four dollars better be someone you're trying to impress for four bucks cheesy spaghetti squash i had that last year it was fantastic five dollars $5 is a little steep because it's like a personal serving. It doesn't have a lot, but it has enough for one. I'm just saying, I ate it all. Sweet potatoes, $2.49. And then this is something that's been popular for quite a few years. This riced cauliflower stuffing, uh, $3 for that. Creamed greens, ooh, that's new to me, $4 for those. Trader Joe's is getting fancy on us. These would be great for a charcuterie board if you like blue cheese, eh, I do not. And then they have this truffle ooh, seasoning powder. Interesting for $6. I know that is trendy. I will say everyone loves this pepper jelly for the holidays. Pour it over some cream cheese and you have yourself a delicious appetizer. Rainbow honey, this would also be a great gift. Oh, by the way, ooh, they have um, mini marshmallows too. Okay, can I just say, I feel like everyone is in the same aisle at the same exact time. <laughs> what was I looking at? Oh, did I tell you? Okay, these would be a great gift as well, but the Christmas stuff comes the day after Thanksgiving. So that's why the carousel of fun and gifts is not out yet, but don't you worry, I'll be back. Maybe, hopefully, don't quote me. Another fantastic host gift, or if you're stocking up for Christmas already. Oh, I don't know why I'm turning you to rice, but this is what I mean, the olive oil, the trio. I always love their personal care section. They have such gems here, so I'll point out some of my favorite items. This four wool dryer balls. Fantastic price for four balls. Normally at the store, a good price is 10 bucks. So that is a screaming deal. What else is over here? Well, I guess I'll just let you look. They got some detergent cleaner. Ooh, cleaner. Multi-purpose for three bucks. That's a large container. Oh my gosh, I smelled peppermint. So I turned around. I don't see any peppermint, but I do see these beautiful bowls. Ooh, okay, unscented candle. Well, we definitely don't need that. <gasps> Ooh, turkey stock. How did I miss all this stuff? Triple ginger brew, if you're into that, for $2.99. Spiced cider. Cool. You know what? Oh, ooh, sparkling cider. Love all these flavors. Winter wassail punch. All right, punch me in the face. I don't know how to pronounce that. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. Olive wood bowls. I think these are all the rage. Beautiful. Back to this stuff. They have a lot of hand soap. Different varieties, looks like they have grapefruit, chamomile, lavender, and then lemon, and French liquid soap, orange blossom, and honey. I'm gonna sniff on that. Well, I smelled it and then sneezed, so everyone now thinks I am infected. I will say, there that's the last one. There aren't any left. It, do, it smells fancy, I'll say that. All right, what else have we got? Ooh, a shampoo bar, this is new stuff. Peppermint and tea tree, I bet you that's what I smell, that's peppermint. It is like bursting through the box there. They also have Tom's. Ooh, a sheet mask for two bucks. That's a good deal. What else have we got? Coconut body stuff. I'm waiting for like the uh, balsam body stuff. Face and body wipes. 
We call that an army bath right there. I've also, this is like a top seller, ultra hydrating gel moisturizer. It's $9. Lasts quite a while, I will say that. Oh, okay, fruit and vegetable wash. You guys are always asking what you can use to wash your fruit and vegetables, $4 for that. I like to use, let me see if I can see it. I don't, they normally have it. I bet you it's just somewhere else. They have Dr. Bronner's stuff. Ooh, a room spray, lemon and myrtle and spearmint, $2, that's a screaming deal. Also $2 for this grapefruit and lemon uh, hand sanitizer, great. Okay, so they have some facial, facial oil, supreme hydrating eye cream, those are both new to me. Oh my gosh, peppermint again, I smell it, it's everywhere. Again, love their packaging. I'm there when you're sick. Oh my gosh, I'm there when you're sad. <laughs> oh, I found some gems up front here. So these were a hot item last year. Wait, this is what I'm thinking of. Okay, this is not what I'm thinking of. It could still be a hot item. What do I know? Handcrafted felted wool trivets. $5, that would be a great gift as well. But the main attraction is right here, this cedar and balsam candle. These fly like hotcakes, so I definitely grabbed one. It smells divine. Is it worth the price, $4 for that size? No, kind of reminds me of Target Dollar Spot, but it is the novelty of it all. Well, now I'm sitting here thinking, Lord, someone handcrafted all of these? I would definitely sell them for more than $4. Or, oh, sorry, five, definitely more than five. On Etsy, this would easily go for $25.99 plus shipping. Speaking of snacks, mostly because I am hungry, organic cracker assortment and they have this olive tamponade. It looks really intriguing. I, you know what, I want to buy it, but will I eat it all? Because I know my kids definitely will not. It looks delicious. I can't believe I almost passed these by. It's one of my favorite things about Trader Joe's and the holiday season. They sell these Brussels sprouts, you guys. Can you even tell? On the stalk. Uh, just on the stalk. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, so it's impressive to look at, but a pain in the butt to actually take off the stalk yourself. The price is right though at $3.99. Well, that is a nice looking cart. It's the most money I've ever spent at Trader Joe's. Ooh, you see my shadow? Well, what am I gonna eat on the way home? Lighting is crazy. That's Florida weather for you. I picked out two snacks for the way home. I just realized this is not jerky at all. It's watermelon. <sighs> We are now home. I put everything out and the bags were super heavy. It is the most I've ever spent at Trader Joe's coming in at a whopping $237. Normally I spend about half that. So I don't know what happened there. <laughs> uh, a few things I wanna say. I did meal prep, not meal, planned, not prepped, planned. Wouldn't it be nice if I already had dinners meal prepped? So um, I was thinking, well, Thanksgiving isn't too far away. I think we've had this discussion. So I did buy stuff for Thanksgiving, but also sometimes I forget we need to eat dinners the week of Thanksgiving. Sometimes I get so zeroed in on, oh my gosh, what are we making for Thanksgiving? And then I don't <laughs> buy stuff to eat for the rest of the week because I just think Thanksgiving is soon. Just hold your appetite. This time I have actual meals. I could share them with you now or at the end of the video, but I might forget to share them with you. You could remind me. Sometimes I'm hard of hearing, so let's, let me just share them. Just a few ideas I'll toss at you. So butternut squash chili, chickpea chili, but I don't like chickpeas, so I'm gonna use a different bean. Ooh, that is, what is this? A dairy-free queso, oh, drooling. Oh, we've made this before, but I might put it in a what's for dinner video as well. It is a gnocchi soup with sausage and kale. Uh, I've made something similar, so I will compare and contrast the recipes. Also, these Mediterranean stuffed zucchini boats with quinoa. Oh, you guys know it's my jam. And then whatever this is, some kind of Greek salad. I'm here for it. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? This is Parmesan herb, chicken, and orzo. Just realized, forgot to buy the orzo. This is some winter vegetables with red lentils. I have some lentils I need to eat up. This looks divine. I think it's like a Tuscan soup. This is a slow cooker Greek chicken. This is like meals for a month, but that's how I meal plan. Oh, I didn't buy any oranges. Wait, yes I did. What is this? Turkey breast and or with orange and herbs. Oh my drooling, am I right? Food Network, here I come. So now that we know what's on the menu, I can share with you everything I got. Oh, I didn't share with you everything I'm making for Thanksgiving. I guess you'll just have to stick around and see my Thanksgiving cook with me. Gotta leave a little cliffhanger for you. Keep you excited for the next 
All right, let's just get into it. So here is the haul as a whole. Much smaller than my Costco hauls, but still very large for a Trader Joe's haul. I feel like they saw my cart at Trader Joe's and they switched out the cashier twice and the bagger twice. It must have come in the middle of a shift and both of them were like, okay, I need a break. Okay, I got some zucchini squash. These are quite large for the zucchini boats. I actually got four packages of them, uh, mostly because I love zucchini. One of my favorite lunches, which I haven't made in a while, those are clean by the way, is just zucchini, onions, black beans. I think that's it. That's what I, it's so good, so simple to throw together. Just cook it in a skillet until everything's cooked. Easy, right? I spent an arm and a leg, and I had to leave Meredith there for these strawberries. I'm just kidding, I didn't bring Meredith, but you know what I'm saying, like I had to give them my firstborn. She's my fourthborn, moving on. They were expensive, strawberries, not, oh, $8, I should tell you, the actual price for them. They better be the best thing in strawberries. The last time I bought strawberries, I know they're not in season, let me sniff. <sighs> yeah, these smell fake. The last strawberries I bought, they smelled so artificial. They were 1000% GMO. Okay, I also got a little bag of mandarin oranges right there. I got some kale greens. You guys know I'm going to make that spinach and kale. No, it's not spinach, it's kale. Is it kale? Well, now I'm second guessing myself. The gnocchi soup I thought had spinach in it. I actually bought the spinach for salads and I need romaine lettuce. Okay, so this has taken so many turns already. Twists and turns like a roller coaster. I was in the produce section thinking I should just go to Costco. I should buy this at Costco. I should buy that at Costco. Do you know why? Because everything is so much cheaper. At, well, produce wise is cheaper at Costco. I didn't go there. I might go there because I still need some romaine lettuce. I need some cucumbers, which um, it, they, it was two dollars and fifty cents for one at Trader Joe's, and I know Costco has sells three for two dollars and fifty cents. So I just couldn't do it. I got some edamame for Eleanor. She she loves this stuff. I think I got some frozen as well. This is shelled and it already has sea salt. It's ready to eat. And she just loves to snack on these. And I thought, you know what? It's a healthy option for her lunch uh, or after school snack or whatever. You know what I mean? It's edamame, delicious, wonderful. Oh my gosh, these cranberries. I almost got some last time I was at Costco. I'm going to compare this to Costco a lot. You guys know I like shopping at Costco because of their prices and quantity, right? So this bag of cranberries, I don't know how much it was. I know it was way too much because at the same price at Costco would be four times this amount. But do I need four times this amount? I don't know. I got two red onions, probably not enough. I got one butternut squash for the chili that I plan on making. I've made butternut squash chili before. Wasn't my favorite, but I think it's because I added way too much butternut squash. I will maybe add half of this. And, oh, okay, so much to say about that, but we'll get there when we get there. Uh, I just think this, you, there's, you, ugh. you can do so much with butternut squash roasted in the oven and it is supreme. I also got some tomatoes. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but I do like them when they're, uh, you know, cooked in the oven and I have found, I mean, not too much, but I can tolerate them. So I'm going to throw this on the zucchini boats as well. Okay. So the spaghetti squash, I got two of them because I plan on making like a spaghetti one night just with normal noodles. But what I do to bulk it up and also add some vegetables into my diet and my kids diet is I cook spaghetti squash with it. Like it's too stringy to, for the kids to pick out, but also I like adding a lot of vegetables to my dishes. It keeps me fuller longer, it is healthy for me, and you know, just gotta eat your vegetables, people. What else is there to say about it? You know what else I like putting this in? Chili. Just instead of rice or a carb, use, oh my gosh, it's so versatile and so good. You can throw it on top of anything and it'll fill you up and make it, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's so good, it's delicioso. And I have found, because why not talk about it for five more minutes, I have found cooking them in my Instant Pot. Oh, I didn't think about that to get the side. I've heard you can throw the entire thing just in there. I normally cut mine and it's totally fine, but you can throw it in your Instant Pot, which reminds me I need to wash my Instant Pot dish. I only got two onions. I feel like I still have a couple, but also they're so much cheaper at Costco. I'm going to say it probably 10 more times. Okay, this is a Thanksgiving item, and I thought carrots would last because as I'm filming this, it's a little over a week until Thanksgiving. 
as you're watching this, it's less than, but carrots will last a while. So I thought this was a safe bet to get for Thanksgiving. Also, very impressive on the Thanksgiving table, right? Multicolored carrots. It's just so festive and so pretty. I'm not sure the price on these. I just thought one bag wasn't enough, so let's do two. Also, love carrots. Don't eat them enough, right? I also got some sweet potatoes for multiple reasons. I do plan on making a healthy sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving and also Eleanor especially loves sweet potatoes and I haven't made any for her. I don't know, it's been a couple weeks so I figured I'll make her happy. I got one bundle of bananas and then some honey crisp apples. Apparently those are the best apples around so I picked those up and the price at Trader Joe's for their apples, insane in the membrane. Oh my gosh, okay, so I went ham in the frozen food section. Well, ham, did I? Not really, there's not that much frozen food. But I've never bought these before, so I got two boxes of them just for the kiddos. It is mac and cheese bites. Oh my gosh, like, does that not look good or what? Here I am talking about being healthy and then I'm showing you these fried mac and cheese balls. I mean bites. I bet these are delicious. Wentworth loves mac and cheese, so we're gonna see if he's into those. You know what else I found? Oh my gosh, it's a no-bake. I just realized that. It is a nut butter bar mix. So you can either add nut butter to this or honey or maple syrup. So it's very versatile. I've never had it before, uh, but it reminds me of like a date ball kind of thing. So I don't even know what's in it. I didn't read the ingredients. Rolled oats, almond meal, crispy rice meal. Ooh, expeller pressed canola oil. Bobby is proud. Oh, natural flavors, never mind. Definitely not Bobby approved. Oh, and speaking of natural flavors, they didn't, I went for almond extract as well that was on my list. They did not have it. And they were out of vanilla extract. They were out of so many things. Also did not have anything Christmas. Oh, you know what? They did have Christmas stuff. I lie. I was excited to see the Jingle Jangle. Apparently a lot of people have been asking about it and they put that stuff out the day after Thanksgiving or the week after, or they, you know what they told me? After Thanksgiving is when they put it out. So I don't know what after means. Cedar balsam candle. Oh, it smells so good. Although I haven't burned it. I, what a dream. What a dream that is. Kind of smells like soap as well. So I don't know. Take that for what it is. I got a lot of jarred things. So let's go over it. Actually, let's go over these first because I'm most excited about them. Also, I know my kids are going to go crazy for these chocolatey cats. They're cookies for people. If you guys have been here for a while, I mean, I know many of you are new, so you may not know. These are incredible. So you eat them alone and you're like, oh, okay, this is all right. And then you eat like 10 more of them and you're like, man, this is good. And then you dip them in peanut butter. Oh! <laughs> and then the angels sing because that is where it's at. They're so good. I mean, I haven't had them in probably close to a year, so maybe my memory won't serve me correctly. But this is a true staple in our house. All my kids love them. I love them. It's like a nice treat. Oh my gosh. And then plus there's cats. How can you not be happy while you're eating these? I'm just saying. Ooh, you know what else I got? Well, I got these for the kids. I don't really know why. You know what? It's the coins, the Euro coins in there. It just makes me feel like I'm, wait, are these Euro coins? I mean, these, these definitely are. Okay, well, I got these. I thought they would be fun for like stocking stuffers or something. You know what else? They had the that chocolate spoon. It's like a spoon and you put it in hot water and it melts the chocolate and it becomes cocoa. <laughs> I forgot to tell you about these. Okay, so I ate these on the way home. These, I really wish they had more of everything but the bagel uh, flavor to them. They're okay. I don't know. Save them. I won't buy them again. I'll just say that. And this, oh, why didn't you guys tell me? I literally thought it would was beef jerky, but like watermelon flavor somehow. That's why I thought, oh my gosh, $3.99, a fantastic price. No, guys, it's dried watermelon. Skip this crap. There's definitely a reason why they still have some from summer. It's because no one liked it. It's so gross. Avelina just tried some. She says it tastes like fish. Well, the water that the fish swim in, and she's not wrong, I'm just saying. Watermelon jerky. Oh, you know what else I got? <gasps> Something delicious. I didn't get the coconut almond. Oh, what is it called? It's like chocolate and coconut covered almonds. I skipped those this time. Went with the dark chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberry. No, no, how does it go? How does it go? Chocolate covered cherry. Oh, did I just say strawberries? Guys, they're cherries. Chocolate covered cherries. Seedless watermelon. Wow. Man, Gavin DeGraw is so underrated. He is making a new album. I'm saying, there's a comeback coming. He's amazing. I went to one of his concerts one time. Oh my gosh, I wanna cry. It was so, I got one of his picks. 
He threw it right at me. At least that's what I tell myself in my dreams. Pointed me out. You get the pick. And he, I was like front row. It was incredible. I could cry thinking about it. What was your first concert? You let me know. This has taken a turn, but do you expect anything less? My first concert was Usher. Well, I don't remember if it was Usher or Shania Twain. It was very close. I went like a week after each other. Both amazing artists is all I'm saying. Okay, I got some raisins. Boring. I got some, ooh, dried cherries because I'm trying to be healthy. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to make? I got some hazelnuts over here. I'm trying to make the Pope's bread. We had a competition last year, uh, just our family, where we each made Pope's bread and then voted to see which one had the best Pope's bread. Obviously, my dad won. Uh, but I will say last year I forgot to make, actually I did make it, but I didn't save a loaf and, uh, kicking myself in the bum. I knew, I know I would have won. I would have won. So this year is redemption. This is redemption year. Last year I just had a baby. Like, what do you expect? And you know, at least I brought food with me. I just forgot to bring Pope's bread. Plus I ate it every morning for breakfast. If you don't know what Pope's bread is, I'll try to link my recipe below. It is at the very end of a freezer meal video. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Also kind of weird. I will say no one in Alex his family enjoys it but it's something I grew up on so I think that's why we like it anyway my dad won did I tell you that as he should I guess but my sister left one of hers at our house and I pretty much ate the entire thing the next day and I was every bite I took I was like man this is real good this is way better than I thought initially okay I got some sun-dried tomatoes that's for one of the recipes I shared with you don't remember which one but if you do want to know it will be in an upcoming what's for dinner video. You know what I'm out of? Apple cider vinegar. So you know what I bought? Apple cider vinegar. Plus it's organic. Plus it comes from the mother, which is, oh, it with the mother. Oh Lord, the mom's in there. Okay. Uh, apparently that is important when you're buying apple cider vinegar. Do you take shots of this in the morning? I do know some people who are like, at that level in their life, and that's just not me. I don't have any ailments that need to be cured by a shot of apple cider vinegar in the morning. It's just so gross. It's so gross. But in little doses, in recipes, delicious. Makes it work. Okay, I also needed some roasted Roasted fire, no, fire roasted red peppers. I used to make these uh, by myself. <laughs> I used to make them by myself, guys. I used to make them at home. Yeah, by myself. <laughs> Not jarred or anything because I had a gas stove. I miss my gas stove so much. I love my induction stove, whatever, whatever. But I haven't made them in a while and I never find them at Publix. So I was happy to find, I should have bought a couple jars of these. I need these for one of the recipes I shared with you again. Um, that's taco sauce. This is a good taco sauce. I had this last year and I used it in my taco freezer meal that I made, or my taco bake, whatever you wanna call it, when I was postpartum. Oh, can you believe that was a year ago? Holding a squishy newborn, eating spicy taco sauce, and she wasn't even fussy. She loved it every second of it. She's used to the spice, I figure, because I eat it all the time when I'm pregnant. I don't know, that's not how it works. Anyway, um, it's not too spicy, I will say that. So if you're worried about the spice, it's pretty mild. Okay, I got some Katamala olives, again, for some of the recipes I shared with you. Can't remember which ones, maybe you do. I'm out of chili seasoning. They had this, I've never had it before, so I don't know if it's any good. I actually needed chili powder, couldn't find it. Also needed cumin, couldn't find that. Also needed almond extract, Good. they didn't have it. And vanilla, they were out of everything. You know what's really good? This sriracha barbecue sauce. Now this is spicy, for me anyway. So I know that's subjective, but this is spicier than whatever I was just talking about over here. Oh, the taco sauce. But it is so good. So it's barbecue sauce, but it has like a kick to it. Oh, it is delicious. One of the best items, underrated. I don't hear anyone talking about this, so I'm gonna talk about it, okay? I I will hype you up, you organic sriracha barbecue sauce. Oh, and roasted garlic is in there too. They shove so much. You know what else? Oh, this is like all my favorite things at TJ's. This is incredible. I like to buy these and then put them in my freezer. You have to store it in your freezer. Oh my gosh, and then forget that I have them or just look at them and not make them for about six months just before they go bad. <laughs> 
They are so good. I will literally eat four at a time. Only four come in here, which is probably for the best, but they are almond croissants. I've also made these before uh, by myself, and I just bought puff pastry and then almond paste for the middle. By the way, almond paste is very expensive. Also, uh, these are not as expensive as it would cost me to just buy almond paste. So good. Oh my gosh, I wanna cry. I wanna eat all four of them right now. Speaking of eating all four right now, I'm probably gonna make these soft pretzels for the kiddos. They're, I think we just have to microwave them. Like they're already soft. They're, they're in the frozen food section, but I guess they've been unfrozen uh, at room temperature for so long, they're no longer frozen. I got some Scandinavian tidings. Well, mostly for the kiddos, but also like, hey, let's be real. I like candy too, so there's that. Also, it's so festive, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Oh my gosh, speaking of I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, I got two of these bowls, and now that I'm thinking, I should have got four of them. I got one for me, one for Alex. Does it come with rice, beef, vegetables, and a spice? Ooh, a spicy chili sauce. I'm really excited to try that because I do enjoy myself a good bibimbap. Cheesy spaghetti squash casserole. You guys, uh, it's so delicious. I'm gonna have to find a recipe. Ooh, maybe I'll make one of these for Thanksgiving. I made one one year. And no, I feel like no one even tried it when I brought, cause we normally, we go to like three Thanksgiving. No one even tried it, you guys. So I took it home and ate the entire confection. It's not a confection, entire casserole. It was so good. I might try a different recipe this year. My family is crazy. Why wouldn't you even try it? Maybe it was, maybe it had a lid on it. No one wanted to open it. I don't know. Broccoli and cauliflower gratin. I don't know. I got that. And then I also got it a one, two, pick up my shoe. One, two, pick up set. I don't know. One potato, two potato. An audible mumbling. A creamy, cheesy gratin. Looks good. Uh, aside from the mushrooms, but you know, I can eat mushrooms. I also grabbed some mashed cauliflower. I don't know why, I like potatoes, but also thought, eh, eh, you know, my thighs can use some help. And then I grabbed this. I thought maybe the kids would enjoy this. I don't know if they uh, like stuff like this because I don't typically buy it. I thought, hey, I'll give them a chance. It's a strawberry smoothie in there. I didn't even look at the sugar content. All right, let's see if it has add, okay. <gasps> oh my Lord. Oh my Lanta including 15 grams of added sugar, you people. So what is the added sugar? Oh, cane sugar, great, 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 great. I'm feeding my kids just pure sugar. And that, my friends, is why we make smoothies at home. All right, moving on. I got some gnocchi for the gnocchi spinach sausage soup. So good, I can't wait to try the new recipe and compare it to the, I think it's Carabas or Olive Garden has a similar recipe that I have made before, a copycat of, and it was supreme. So I'm gonna try a new one and see if it's just as good, if not better. I also got some brown rice, me brown rice, me are you kidding me? I meant to buy wild rice. Well, there's that. I also got some mini raviolis for the kiddos. I got two bags of these. Ugh. I thought these would be a great after school snack for the kids. Like, look at these mini raviolis. Hey, guys, have you ever made raviolis from hand, like by yourself? <laughs> it is not easy, it's very time consuming. So to have all of these little raviolis, wonder if they're handmade. They're definitely not, it's a factory. I also got some white quinoa. I think we're out of that. I, we don't eat it a ton, but I'm, you know, I'm trying baby steps to get back into it, you know? I should have bought four bags of these because I swear my kids can go through an entire bag without even breathing. Uh, moving on, I got these Indian style flatbreads. I thought this would be fun. I saw a couple recipes. Uh, what I like to do with them is put hummus on them and then some onion, maybe some artichokes, maybe some other stuff. Uh, olives, caught them all olives. What else do we put on there? Feta cheese, delicious, delicious. I got two packages of them. If the kids don't like it that way, they can always put like tomato sauce and cheese or you know, make it like a pizza style. It's like a good snack, good lunch, that kind of thing. I also got some mozzarella cheese, arm and a leg for that. And then I got some Parmesan cheese. I almost got the Parmesan cheese, like the fancy kind that comes in a block. I didn't, I just went with this. I don't know, you know what guys, I can't explain myself. And then I got some red lentil pasta. I've never tried this kind before, but I have recently had the chickpea pasta, uh, which I used to have all the time and I really enjoyed it. So I thought, you know what, let me try this one, see if I enjoy it just as much. I also got some couscous. This, this is so easy. I feel like this is uh, wheat 
Is it a wheat? I think so. That not many people talk about. It literally takes five minutes to cook. It's so fast uh, and it's delicious, you know? Oh, okay, I got these for the kids. I don't know if they'll like them. They are nacho cheese corn tortilla chips. So we'll see, I, I guess like a Dorito? Oh, is that what they're supposed to be? Like a Dorito knockoff? Oh, well, look at me. Oh, I didn't know, that. okay, well, there's that. And then I also got six of these, should have got seven for myself. I got six, each of the kids have two teachers in their classroom, and I'm gonna put together just a little gift for them. I thought probably a gift card, and then this just to have something for them to hold, you know? Also something for them to eat, because who doesn't wanna eat a peppermint cream? Oh, I wonder if they'll go bad. Oh, you know what? They won't. Can I tell you something right now? Well, I forgot. I forgot what I was going to tell you. Uh, I don't remember. But I hope you enjoyed my haul. I hope you enjoyed shopping around Trader Joe's with me. I know it's not a place that I go to a lot, mostly because um, I'm obsessed with Costco. And uh, I don't know. But I, I do. I just want some jingle jangle. So I'll probably go back before Christmas, if I don't share it in a video, I will most likely share it on my Instagram, so follow me there if you feel like it. Also, thank you so much for hanging out and watching me share with you all the food I got that will be in my belly this week. If you enjoyed your time here, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Oh, look! Eleanor is back there. She went by too quickly, but Eleanor is pushing Meredith in the stroller. Okay, anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye. What? I was say, have you seen the kids? Serious? I thought you had them. Can I come in here? You're doing this. That's a joke. That's a joke. I challenged her to walk around the house once. Oh, she was having Keep trouble. Busy.